So I'm going to show you how to install Invoke AI on a Mac with an M1 or M2 processor. So what you're going to want to do is scroll down here and you can start by getting started with Invoke. Step one is go to the release page. So we go to the release page and we're going to click on the Mac. We're going to download the zip file for the Mac. Okay. And then we're going to open that up. Okay, once you're in here, we've got two files, okay? But what we're going to do instead of using Terminal, we're just going to use Visual Code Studio. Going to go ahead over there and open up Visual Code Studio, and we're going to select the folder that it just created in Invoke AI, and we're going to click Open. Okay, now we get this nice terminal down here. Okay, ignore that. Let's see if we can... Uh, Okay, so you get this nice terminal here. So what you want to what you're going to want to do is click the README. Okay, and it tells you to run install sh. Okay. Now, to do that, all you have to do is take this sh install.sh and drag it to the terminal window. Okay, and then hit enter. Okay, so it's going to take longer than 10 minutes. Don't worry, I'm going to speed this up. And there you go, you hit enter. Now you're receiving all the files. And if you go back to your folder here, this is going to populate with everything you need to run. So let's give this a couple minutes to run. And I'll be with you in one second. Okay, so it's finished setting up. Most of the files here, as you can see, our folder is populated. And if we go back to Visual Code Studio, um, read this right here. To activate this environment, use this command. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and copy that command. And I'm going to just keep it right here until I need it. Okay, this is a cool little copy and paste bar there. Okay. So now it's going to ask you if you want to download all the models It's about 10 gigabytes. Okay. So I'm going to say all. Okay. A for all. Okay. Now you'll need a hugging face account. Okay. And you'll need a, um, a key. Okay, so we hit enter. It's downloading the weights. Okay, now it's saying it found them all because I've downloaded them already. So lucky for you, you don't have to wait for 10 gigabytes to download. Okay, so here we are. It says model installation successful. You are all set. You may now launch Invoke AI using one of the two commands. Okay, so we can use the web version or the Python script version. We're going to copy this as well. We don't lose it. I'm going to put that back up here. And I'm going to grab the local host as well. Now, if you try to go to the local host right now, you will discover that it's not there yet because we have to actually activate Invoke AI. So here we are. So if we, if we actually go, if we type any of these scripts in without activating it, it, it will fail. Um, so first we're going to actually activate it. So let me just show you that it is not running yet. Okay. And, um, here we go. It's not running. You can see. Okay. So let's go back to visual code studio. Let's grab the command to activate. Okay. And hit enter. Okay. Now that we've activated it, we can go and grab the Python script command. Activate this here. Paste this down here. Hit enter. Okay. Give it a minute. Let it do its thing. Okay. Oh my. 
Okay, all models scanned. Okay, okay, okay. Give it a second. We can go, if you want to, you can go back here. You can refresh. Refresh, refresh. Okay, we'll just give it another second. Okay, there you go. Point your browser. It's started now. Let's see if it works. Bam, it works. It's running and look at this. Okay, so I'm gonna go up and throw it in dark mode. Image, image, unified canvas, nodes, post-processing, training. Okay, let's just see if it works here. Um. How about we uh, do Elon Musk as Gandalf, the white. And uh, we're gonna do 50 steps and uh, let's see if it works. Preparing, preparing, preparing. If you wanna go back, you can actually see that the code is running and you can view the terminal here, 2%, 4%. So it says it's gonna take Almost, well, it's, it says two minutes, but I think it's going to be a lot sooner than that. Okay, and we can come back here. You can see that it's building it. But there you go, guys. That was really easy. I wish someone had made a tutorial like this when I started trying to figure it out. But I do have to give a big shout out to Chat GPT. As you can see, I was just typing in to show my wife some examples of how it will help you do anything. So any command that or error you're getting, just type it in here, uh, paste it in here, and um, it will give you the solution. And um, I found that to be very helpful. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. And uh, make sure if you did like it, like and subscribe. I'm trying to start making more videos interviewing different uh founders and creators i'm really interested in the crypto and ethereum and the nft space and um i plan on launching my own nft series pretty soon and um it has to do with ai so i'm very excited to, the, to have this and that it's free and i'm thankful for the community putting this all together and guys this is the most exciting time to be alive really is i'm just so stoked with how much creativity is going to come out of this air look at that okay wow we got there we go elon musk as gandalf and my computer generated that wow very cool all right guys i will see you in the next video and if you have any comments uh write them below and i'll try to answer them as soon as i can take care bye